the proposition for today's debate is that the Taiwan government should make public sex offenders' personal information. For the debaters, rules for timing your speech are as follows. When there are 30 seconds left, your hear one show read. When time is up, your hear two show read. When it's 30 seconds into the distension, you are here a long way. And upon hearing that, you have to stop your speech. And rules for timing your cross examination are when there are 30 seconds left, you are here a short read. When time is up, you are here two short reads. And upon hearing that, you have to stop your cross examination. Any evidence cited during the debate should have a corresponding evidence card, which may be reviewed upon request by the court examiner and their teammates. The card needs to be returned at the end of the court's contracted speech following the court's examination. For the audience, please turn off your cell phone or turn it to the vibrate mode when the debate is still in progress. Please do not chat or use flash when taking pictures. Thank you. First, a firm quick counselor, page 5, 4 minutes. A very good morning from me to all honorable judges and distinguished debaters. With the affirmative convinced that Taiwan government should make public sex offenders personal information, at the end of today's debate, will prove you that making public sex offenders personal information is the only way to reduce the number of sex crimes and reduce people's sense of insecurity. But before we present our argument, we'd like to defend some terms in the resolution. In this debate, sex offenders is defined as a person who is convicted as a sexual offense. Sexual offenses include compulsory sexual intercourse or indecency, authority intercourse or indecency, Fraudulent sexual intercourse or sexual intercourse or indecency with a person under the age 18. Making public its defense as a publicizing sex offender's personal information in the area where they live. The information includes their name, photo, gender, height, time, birth, mark, and the type of the offense that the person has committed. We contend that Taiwan government should make public sex offender's information because of the following reason. Contention 1. Sex offenders not only hurt a person's body or his or her mind. According to American Psychological Association, victims of sex crimes usually encounter post-traumatic stress disorder, such as emotional barrier, difficulties in developing close relationships, sex dysfunction, suicidal attempts throughout their life. Contention 2. The present measure of solving the problem are neither sufficient nor effective. Electronic factors are just used as a means to prevent sex offenders from committing crimes. However, since it, since it applies only to prisoners on parole, but not to every ex convict of sex crime, it fails to monitor every sex offender's daily activity, nor does it reduce people's sense of insecurity. We believe that only making public sex offenders' information known can we reduce the fear of the general public for sex crimes. Contention 3. Sex offense has posed a threat to the safety and caused great fear for the general public. According to a survey done in 2013 by the Ministry of the Interior of Taiwan, sex offense has been rated as the most frightening crime to the public. Therefore, we believe that the government should adopt a zero tolerance policy toward this issue, since the nature of sex crime is different from all the other types of crime. The great fear people feel about sex offenders should not be overlooked. Because of this inherent problem, counseling the way to prevent sex offense, we strongly argue that Taiwan government should make public sex offenders personal information to repair the current system. We will provide information for specific neighbor where sex offenders live, for those sex offenders who do not report the local police station regularly. Their personal information will be revealed online not only as means to alert people but also a warning for sex offenders to report themselves to the police on a regular basis. My partner will detail our plan in the second affirmative constructive speech. 
Thank you. I'm now ready for cross examination.
such as depression, hopelessness, and the fear for their own safety. Thus, even with a notification, we would uh, we motivate the sex offenders or would perhaps protect the public. The truth is that there are many negative consequences preventing the sex offender from turning over. Therefore, we negatives strongly contend that the government should not make public sex offenders' personal information and not ready for cross-examination. First, a formal case cost is a measure. First, make it two minutes. Okay. Uh, I want to ask you a percentage of, uh, you mentioned that 33 percent is about public.
nor are their information being made public. According to the status from Ministry of Justice in 2011, the recidivism rate is close to zero in the fifth year of, uh, of their release from prison. Sex offenders' privacy should be protected if their accomplishment of relevant regulations. So point B, the location about sex and counseling program for sex offender and victim should be added to this system for the purpose of educating the public, guiding the sex offender during their imprisonment and registration, and currently emotional damage of a victim. Fifth, in our plan, we have permanently set up a sex crime prevention dimension in every local police department to deal with a fear about sex crime. About three to ten policemen will be in charge of the division. These, their duties include monitoring electronic factors, noticing anything unusual happening to sex offenders, and updating sex offenders' information online. In addition, sex offenders need to report to them every month. In conclusion, we have shown that publishing sex offenders' personal information will definitely erase the sense of insecurity if the government implements our plan. In view of all this contention, we therefore will ask for an affirmative decision at the end of the debate. Thank you. I'm now ready for cross explanation. First, negative cost examines second for the minutes. How is your plan similar to the United Kingdom plan of publicizing their information? Um, actually, we adopt a system from any country that implements this is uh, the ma making public system. In the information we have found, these two systems from the UK and the, uh, the South Korea is more is is uh, effective. Then what is your definition? What is this definition of sex offender different from the definition of your sex offender? Um, I don't know. How? Um, what is the difference between the sex offender that the UK defined it and the sex offender in your class? Um, I think there are a lot of different because of the culture and we're talking about different or
convince the public that this plan will work since there's no evidence showing that this plan will work. And they, they mentioned nothing about budget, which we all know that without budget, the plan is impossible to work. Also, our opponents plan to make sex offenders information public. However, the plan will cause several negative effects on sex offenders and sex offenders' family and sex offenders' children. And multiple surveys indicate that sex offenders report several social and psychological consequences of community notification. These studies indicate that almost one-third reported job loss and about 50% or more of offenders reported negative consequences such as stress, shame, hopelessness, and loss of social support. Thus, making their personal information public puts sex offenders at risk. And also, their family. A national online survey proclaims that most family members, which is 86% of registered sex offenders, reported that community notification has caused stress in their life. 77% of them felt a sense of isolation, and 49% of them felt afraid for their own safety due to public disclosure of sex offender status. Half of the family members had lost friends or a close relationship as a result of community notification, and 66% said that shame and embarrassment often kept them from engaging in community activities. Publicizing sex offenders' personal information causes greater harm to their family members, which means that their plan will cause a big negative consequence to the society. Thus, we negative strongly contend that Taiwanese government should not publicize sex offenders' personal information. Now I'm ready for the cross examination. Second affirmative cause is any second negative two minutes.
strongly contend that the Taiwanese government should not publicize sex offenders' personal information. I would like to refute some of the points mentioned by our opponents regarding their plan, harm, and purpose. To begin with, the sex offenders' definition of their plan actually is different from um, the plans they adopted from the United Kingdom and South Korea. If they do not prove that the sex offender's definition is the same, then why implement a plan? Because your target and subject might not be the same, which in turn will cause the plan to maybe um, be ineffective and um, ultimately fail. Next, they mentioned a confidential security system and a propaganda to protect the sex offenders, but failed to prove any evidence that these systems will work, which means the collateral damage dealt to the sex offender uh, to their family, to their children, to people nearby them, friends, family, is too great because people, because the sex offender and people near them are often stigmatized and uh, they are regarded with a different, uh, people treat them differently, which means that uh, after, they're, uh, after they, they've been in jail, after they've been notified to the public, the ongoing effect is that they will still be punished by the society whole. Um, next. The harm, uh, the purpose of their plan is to raise awareness and to, uh, to help people reduce their insecurity of uh, the society. But they, they also fail to prove that their plan would actually uh, lower their insecurity. And even if the plan did work to do so, there is actually a difference between feeling secure and lowering your rate and your chances of being raped and sexually harassed. So if I feel very safe today, I may as well go, I, I, may, may, I may just go out of school and be raped um, right there. Because I feel safe, but I might still be raped. And next, the budget is also a problem with their plan. Because there is no evidence showing that their plan can actually be implemented. Because there is not enough money to do so. Okay, so uh, lastly, I would like to say that even if all miraculously the plan did work, it is actually still targeting the wrong subjects. because. Uh, they mention themselves that recidivism is very low. So if there are still cases, that means it's uh, committed by the first time crime. People that are committing it for the first time. Not people that are committing it the second or third time, but people who are committing it the first time. Criminals that are committing it for the first time. So their plan, if it did work, it would lower recidivism and people that recidivate. But the crime rate is going to still be high because it is actually the people who commit the first time that's doing the, the crimes. Ladies and gentlemen, we affirmative would like to emphasize again that there are harms in the current system. And making public sex offenders' personal information can effectively eradicate these harms. First, sex offense not only hurt a person's body, but also the damage he but also damage his or her mind. Victims of sex Sex crimes usually encounter PTSD such as emotional barriers throughout their life. Second, sex offense have been, has been rated as the most frightening crimes to the public. Therefore, we believe that Taiwan government should uh, uh, adopt a zero tolerance policy toward this issue, considering the damage it may bring to, bring to the victims as well as the public general idea about sex crimes. Therefore, by publicizing sex offense, offenders' personal information, we can not only alert people that sex offenders' whereabouts, but also help parents protect their children from falling victim to sex crimes. It also allows people in the neighborhood to know where and who the sex offender is, so that they won't live in panic anymore. That is, we also we can solve the problems existing in the current system. And our definition, and though our definition is different from the UK, the study we have mentioned still can support. Also, we actively send information, to, uh, send the sex offenders' information to people, not to ask them to get it. Now we'd like to reiterate our rebuttal to the negative contentions. First, 
the negative have questioned the feasibility of our, our plan, asserting that it will cause extra budget or not to make public sex offenders' personal information with the affirmative argument that making public sex offenders' personal information does need a little higher budget. However, it can really help everybody live 